Adam from Stockwell Safety here and I'm going to go through five tips on how to manage open book exam day. The first tip is to get a good night's sleep the night before so do whatever you need to do to ensure that you get as good a night's sleep as possible. What I would advise is do something active the day before, take, take some exercise, go for a jog, do some gardening, whatever, so that you end up at the end of the day ready to go to sleep. Not, not completely physically exhausted such that you're going to be impaired the following day, but enough so that you're not going to be lying in bed wide and worrying about the exam coming up the day after. Tip number two is take regular breaks throughout the day. Your concentration levels are going to be at peak level when you first begin, but after about half an hour or so for most people, your concentration levels will dip significantly and they won't come back up again unless you take a break. It doesn't have to be a long break, five minutes or so, just to get you back on track in terms of your ability to focus. If you don't do that, then you run the risk of spending most of the day at sort of very low levels of concentration and you'll be struggling as a result of that. But by deliberately taking a break every half an hour or so, just for a few minutes, means that you'll spend most of the day at peak levels of concentration, which will mean that you stand obviously a, a much better chance of doing well on your exam questions. Tied in with that is to make sure that you keep yourself well hydrated and that you don't let yourself go hungry because you're not going to be able to focus properly if you allow yourself to go hungry. Tip number three is to sleep on it. What I mean by that is you don't have to submit your exam until 9am the following day. So on Wednesday, for example, 9am uh, Wednesday is when you'll have access to the questions and then you've got until 9am on the Thursday to actually submit your answers. My advice is on Wednesday, go ahead and submit it just in case you don't get round to doing it on Thursday morning for whatever reason but just be aware of the fact that once you've submitted it doesn't mean that you can't resubmit it so on Thursday morning what I would advise is getting up nice and early and then uh, reviewing your exam paper with a clear head and you will probably find things that you're going to want to change amend edit polish you might have had thoughts overnight you know how it works with your subconscious when you're not consciously thinking about something answers that you previously that previously come to you the day before suddenly when you kind of take your mind away from it you might get a bolt of inspiration in the middle of the night so you can jot that down and then on Thursday morning you've got that opportunity to resubmit it after having carried out a thorough review. Tip number four is to manage your environment including all the gear that you're going to be using like your computer for example so make sure that your computer is functional that you haven't got any internet connectivity issues and that you are able to log in to the Nibosh site and gain access to the platform you will have been granted access about a week before the exam and you should have already been looking around and familiarizing yourself with the platform however just make sure that on exam day you don't leave it until after 9 a.m to find out that for some reason your login details aren't working or something along those lines so make sure you can log in make sure that you can connect to the internet make sure that you're not going to be interrupted during the day by anything that's going to pull your focus away from the exam. So if you've got children, arrange things so that the, your children aren't going to be a source of distraction for you. Turn your phone off if you can, or at least put it on silent. Make sure that that's not interrupting you. Make sure that you don't do something like check emails before doing your exam, because again, you might get pulled into whatever issues those emails throw at you. So try and keep all of your distractions to an absolute minimum. Make sure your environment is comfortable, that you're not trying to do it at the kitchen table or on your lap in the living room. Try and move away to an area that's going to allow you to concentrate. The fifth and final tip is to stay positive throughout the exam day because 
it's not going to be easy. You're going to have periods during the day where you have a particularly challenging question, for example. Don't let that throw you off. Just accept it as being par for the course. You're going to get frustrations. It's not going to be plain sailing all the way. There, it's a challenge. But if you know that going in and you expect it and you're mentally prepared for it, then it's not going to throw you off. If you've done your studying and you've done your preparation, you're going to be fine. If things are starting to get on top of you, then that is a signal that it's probably time to take a break. For this type of break, I recommend making it an active break. So don't just leave the computer screen and go and sit and brood somewhere else and let this sort of negative thought pattern establish itself. What you want to do is take an active break, go on a quick walk around the block or do some household chores or do 20 push-ups or 20 burpees, something that's just going to take your mind off the immediate problem, sort of like a mini reset really, and then come back at it with a positive mental attitude. All the very best of luck with it. I hope you've got some value out of the video that you've just seen. If so, I'd like to invite you to subscribe to the channel so that you can be alerted to when we produce and upload more videos.